what's going on guys we are currently on our way to selbyville delaware to replace a leaking evaporator coil and a reversing valve in a seven and a half ton train rtu that does a chicken plants electrical room for their all fall area and what they call the all fall is basically where all the disgusting byproducts go from the chicken from the chicken slaughtering so when they slaughter the chickens all the blood guts and ass get grinded up and uh, liquefied basically and put into these big tanker trucks and um, they sell those to protein companies and what they do with that protein is they um, repurpose it for dog food cat food anything that you know takes chicken byproducts that's what uh, that's what they use it for so pretty disgusting process but just like most things in big manufacturing plants and uh, uh, chicken plants the stuff has to stay cool so that's what this air conditioner does it keeps their electrical room cool so that's what we're going to be replacing this coil and reverse and valve in today so it should be pretty good we were supposed to do this job last Monday but they didn't we weren't able to get the coil on the roof long story short so this past weekend they had a crane come for something else and while they were there they they set our coil up on the roof because that's the thing about a crane you order it usually for four hours and whether the crane works for 20 minutes or the whole four hours you have to pay them for that whole four hours so they didn't need them for the full four hours so they had our coil sitting there so they had them throw it up on the roof for us so worked out pretty well we didn't have to pay for a crane and they got the, the coil on the roof for us so it was pretty sweet but anyway we're headed out there now we got a little bit of a ride ahead of us <clears throat> and i just wanted to thank you guys because i just turned 4,000 subscribers i really appreciate each and every one of you guys it's been a journey uh the channel is just over just over a year old uh, i think it was november 3rd uh november april 3rd or 4th is when i first came out with the first video um, I'll try to link it here if you guys are interested in watching my first video. It's uh, pretty uh, pretty lame, but you know everybody has to start somewhere. But yeah, just I thank you guys, everybody. Really appreciate it. Everybody that subscribed, everybody that watches when I post on a daily basis, I really appreciate it. So, all right, guys, let's get up to Selbyville. Let's get this coil changed out. I got another guy helping me today, and then Kenny will be there. Uh, probably around noon, lunchtime or so, he should be showing up when he gets out of school. So, let's get going. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys real quick what goes on in this all fall room. Some of the disgusting matter that uh, goes on. But, yeah, let's take a look. to get busy they're real big on safety here so we needed harnesses and not to mention it was a complete pain in the ass to get up here but i think we still i think we got everything up here now we're about to get busy. all right we're recovering now i got my tank in the shade trying to keep it cool because it is warm up here it's warm today so we're gonna start opening this thing up now not sure if we gotta take the top off or not maybe we're gonna get this baby opened up all right we're almost empty. We're starting the process of getting this coil out of here. Man, this pan looks right dirty. I'll have to clean that out when we get it out. got this bitch out had to cut the hell out of it and we got an empty hole now our problem was our duck our side takeoff duck was screwed into the um, the filter rack of the coil so that's what gave us so much trouble we ran a sawzall down there and got it cut off though 
seems like the duck is still attached good, so I don't think we'll have to do anything there. But you can see our our pan is right right clogged. Holy crap. I have to clean that out. That is crazy. All right, we got our new one set. We got screws in on this side. It went in a whole lot easier than it came out. But there it is. Got enough screws in her. Here's where we're gonna make our connections at here. Might need a little scab of copper there. So we still gotta do this reversing valve though. Let's see what my best plan of action is here. Whether I should cut it or what. I should be able to unbraze this one. Unbraze a couple at a time. All right, I got her sanded down, but you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a Sawzall and cut just above each one of these very carefully because I can get where these are facing down, I can get all my shavings out. And then um, right here is flexible. The bottom is flexible. So the inch or so that I'll lose from cutting it, inch and a half or so, I can make up down here. I can force this up or what have you. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna cut that with the Sawzall. Somebody, a couple guys mentioned it before in other videos when I did a reversing valve. And uh, I've never cut one. I've, you know, to be honest with you, I've probably only done maybe a half dozen reversing valves in my whole career. They usually don't go bad. And I don't know if this one's fully bad anyway. I think it's more of a precaution because uh, I was not the one that diagnosed this. So um, not 100% sure why we're changing it, but I know we're changing it. Maybe, maybe it is leaking because there is a lot of oil around it. So maybe it is leaking. But we're gonna try cutting her, guys, and wish me luck. All right, it worked out pretty good. I made a pretty clean cut on all three of them. I, mean, I got a little little tip right there, but I got it all cleaned up and um, reamed out on all of them. So we're about to put the new one on. I unsweat this one, so cut the top three, unsweat the bottom. Yeah, okay, guys, someone went half inch to three eighths on this but I have a half inch filter dryer. So I think I'm gonna cut that out and put my half inch one in there or just make that look better than what it is. That looks like hell. All right, we got the new reversing valve mocked up. We have our <coughs> coil mocked up. Got a piece of pipe scabbed in here. Swedge that so that fits. The only thing is, is our filter dryer here got a guy going down to grab that now and a piece of half inch copper so we're gonna do a half inch filter dryer and then scab a half inch piece of copper in there easiest thing I think all right we got our metering device protected by the wet rag by Viper we got our reversing valve protected too so we everything's all mocked up uh, we just got to get brazen. So we're going to flow nitrogen through our high side here, and we're just going to let it dump out our low side. So we're just going to bring it up right to the braze part, right here. And that's all. That's all we need. Just as long as we got a little bit of uh, nitro flowing. All right, we got her on a vacuum. Yeah, guys, we really got rolling. We really got doing stuff. So um, we kind of skipped ahead, skipped the brazing and the pressure test and stuff. And then I realized I hadn't filmed anything for you guys. So uh, I hopped back on it. So apologize about that. About 570. Pressure test went fine. We just went to lunch, came back. And uh, we're going to start cleaning up. Next step is just to charge it up after I get the vacuum in a good spot that I want it charge it up and we'll be good to go we already got it mostly back together 
panels back on. So yeah, looking good. All right, we're filling her up now. Won't be long before we can turn this baby back on. Just taking it quick because it's hot up here. That tank pressure is probably 310. All right, guys, she is back up and running. Got a pretty high head pressure, running about 500 right now, but to be expected, it's about 85 degrees down in the space. Whew, man, I'll tell you, it'll be a couple more times before we get back in the swing of being this warm out. That's for dang sure. Not to mention, I got a ton of flies in my truck now, but that's, uh, that's what you get when you work at a chicken plant but yeah guys that went pretty smooth um it was me and another guy there and then kenny came and helped us around noon about 11 30 or so the biggest pain in the ass of that whole thing was having to carry our stuff so far up and uh because we had to rope it up to one roof and then rope it up to another and then the same thing going down you know drop it down to one and then drop it down to another just because of the awkward spot that it was in but we got her straightened out, uh, coil replaced, reverse and valve replaced. I really liked um, cutting it out with the Sawzall. That worked out better than I expected. You just have to be really careful doing that. Uh, if you get any shavings, make sure you clean all the shavings out, uh, deburr that pipe, put your finger in there, whatever you gotta do to clean anything out that you might have uh, got up in that pipe and it worked out perfectly, guys. So I... Um, I'll probably cut them with a Sawzall going forward, honestly. So, yeah, it worked out good. But yeah, that head pressure was was higher than 500, higher than I, well, I'd like to see it. So I'm gonna have the refrigeration maintenance guy for the plant, uh, just keep an eye on it uh, when it gets into the warmer days, just to make sure we're not gonna have a, a high pressure event there because if it's, uh, if it's over 500 now, it might be warmer than that getting into the summer. Of course, that coil is probably pretty dirty, so they're due for a spring PM soon. Um, it's April the, April 15th, so they'll probably get a spring PM in the next couple weeks. Uh, so that'll bring that head pressure down too. But yeah, look at me guys, I'm, I got pretty, got pretty burnt today. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this one guys. So if you haven't done so already, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new here. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.